Welcome to your first look at the winter of 2025 to 2026. This season promises to be unlike any we've seen in recent years with dramatic contrasts and surprises in store for millions across the country. As we stand on the threshold of another winter, let's explore what makes this one so unique and why it's already capturing the attention of meteorologists and weather enthusiasts alike. Even as September feels mild, with gentle breezes and the first hints of color in the trees, the patterns shaping our winter are already forming behind the scenes. The atmosphere is quietly setting the stage, and subtle shifts in temperature and pressure are beginning to hint at the drama to come. This year we're facing a rare and complex setup, a sharp divide right down the middle of the country. It's almost as if the nation is being split into two distinct winter experiences, each with its own story to tell. One half will see a mild, dry season, cities and towns in these regions may experience more sunshine than snow, and winter coats might spend more time in the closet than usual. Outdoor activities could flourish, and heating bills may be lower than average. The other half, however, is in for a colder, snowier and more turbulent ride. Here, winter will flex its muscles with frequent snowstorms, icy winds, and the kind of weather that makes you reach for an extra blanket at night. The big story? No El Nino or La Nina this year? Just a rare neutral phase in the Pacific, opening the door to unpredictable weather. Without these familiar climate drivers, the atmosphere is free to take unexpected turns, making long-range forecasting especially challenging. A massive area of warm water in the North Pacific is now steering the weather, building a strong high-pressure ridge over the west and changing the jet stream for months. This warm pool acts like a giant lever, tilting the balance of weather patterns and sending ripples across the continent. The result? The west will be warmer than average, with many cities enjoying extended stretches of pleasant sunny days. Ski resorts may have to wait longer for fresh powder, and drought concerns could linger in some areas. Meanwhile, Arctic air will plunge into the central and eastern U.S., bringing with it the potential for bitter cold snaps, heavy snowfalls and icy conditions that could disrupt travel and daily life. The Rockies are the dividing line, sunny in California, snowstorms in Chicago, this dramatic contrast will be felt all season long, shaping everything from holiday plans to school closures. Our forecast, built on historical data and advanced models, will break down what to expect region by region. We'll look at the trends, the risks, and the opportunities that this unusual winter may bring to your area. So grab a hot cocoa, settle in, and get ready. Let's dive into what this winter has in store. Whether you're hoping for snow days or sunny escapes, this season is sure to keep us all on our toes. To truly understand what's shaping this winter, we need to start with a key player in global climate, ENSO, the El Nino Southern Oscillation. This powerful climate phenomenon is like the engine that often drives our weather patterns, not just in the US, but around the world. ENSO is a natural cycle and its phases can dramatically shift the balance of weather, bringing everything from droughts to floods, heat waves, to cold snaps. El Nino is the warm phase when Pacific Ocean waters near the equator heat up, sending ripples through the atmosphere and often leading to wetter, milder winters in some regions. La Nina is the opposite, cooler Pacific waters that can bring drier, colder conditions. But this year, we're in what's called a neutral phase. Neither El Nino nor La Nina is in control. The Pacific isn't sending a strong signal so the usual ENSO-driven patterns are missing. With ENSO in neutral it's as if the climate's main engine is idling, leaving the door open for other, sometimes less predictable climate patterns to take the wheel. This creates a unique situation where local and regional factors can have a much bigger impact than usual. The most significant of these this year is the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, or PDO. Right now, the North Pacific is experiencing record warm waters, a trend that's been building for months. This warmth is more than just a number. It's a force that can reshape weather patterns across the continent. These unusually warm waters help build a persistent high-pressure ridge over western North America. This ridge acts like a wall, blocking storms from reaching the west coast and pushing the jet stream into a new path. The result? Storms are diverted, and the usual flow of weather is disrupted. With ENSO neutral, it's as if the climate has handed us a blank slate. Onto this canvas, the warm North Pacific is painting a dramatic and unpredictable story, one that will play out in the months ahead. The jet stream, that fast-moving river of air high above us, will arch northward over Alaska, then plunge south over the central U.S. 
This is a textbook example of what meteorologists call a positive Pacific North American pattern, or PNA, and it has big consequences for winter weather. This pattern traps mild, dry air in the west, leading to warmer and sometimes drier conditions, while at the same time it funnels frigid Arctic air deep into the central and eastern U.S. The result is a sharp contrast. While some regions see a gentle winter, others brace for intense cold and snow, the outcome, a winter of extremes. We can expect powerful, fast-changing weather. One week might bring record warmth, the next a sudden plunge into deep freeze. This unpredictability is the hallmark of a season shaped by competing climate forces. So, as we look ahead, let's explore how these powerful forces will play out across the country and what they might mean for your winter, wherever you live. Let's talk temperatures. This winter, the Rockies mark a sharp divide. West of the Rockies, expect a milder than average winter, thanks to that persistent high pressure ridge. States like California, Nevada, and Oregon will see above normal temperatures and fewer cold days. East of the Rockies, brace for a colder season than recent years, the jet stream will funnel Arctic air into the Midwest, Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, and Northeast. Cities like Minneapolis, Chicago, and Pittsburgh are in for a throwback to frigid winters past. Multiple Arctic blasts and even polar vortex events are likely. For millions in the central and eastern U.S., it's time to prep your home, heating, and wardrobe. This winter will demand real readiness. Precipitation this winter will also be split by the jet stream's new path. The high-pressure ridge keeps the southwest, California, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, drier than normal, with fewer storms and less mountain snow. The Pacific Northwest, on the edge of the ridge, will see slightly above average rain and snow. The real action is farther east. The northern plains and upper Midwest will get a steady parade of storms, bringing above average precipitation. As the storm track dives southeast, the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, Mid-Atlantic and Northeast will also see more rain and snow than usual. This region becomes a convergence zone, with gulf moisture meeting cold air. Expect frequent impactful weather systems in the eastern third of the country. The result, a stormy, active winter for millions. Next, let's talk snow. When cold air collides with abundant moisture in the atmosphere, the result is magical. Snow begins to fall, transforming the world into a sparkling white landscape. It's a classic recipe for winter weather. And this year, all the ingredients are coming together in dramatic fashion. This winter, the central and eastern United States are especially primed for significant snowfall. Meteorologists are watching as cold Arctic air dips southward, meeting moisture-laden systems moving in from the west and Gulf of Mexico. This combination sets the stage for frequent and sometimes intense snow events. In contrast, the southwest, including the Sierra Nevada and Arizona mountains, will experience a much drier season. Persistent warmth and a lack of moisture will keep snowfall below average leaving many mountain slopes bare or with only a light dusting. Meanwhile, the Pacific Northwest Mountains will see a different story. While temperatures may be milder than usual, these regions will still receive plenty of precipitation. Expect a mix of rain and snow at lower elevations, but higher up, the snow will pile up. At those higher elevations, heavy snow is likely to blanket the peaks, creating excellent conditions for winter sports and replenishing mountain snowpacks. The northern plains, especially Montana, North Dakota, and South Dakota, are forecasted to have an exceptionally snowy winter. Repeated snowstorms could lead to deep snow cover across fields and farms, impacting travel and daily life. This snowy outlook stretches across the Midwest, Great Lakes, and Northeast, where frequent snowstorms and even blizzard conditions are likely. Residents should prepare for periods of heavy snow, gusty winds, and reduced visibility. Major cities like Chicago, Detroit, Boston, and New York could see above-average snow totals with several opportunities for memorable winter storms that blanket city streets and create postcard-worthy scenes. Even the mid-Atlantic and parts of the Deep South, where snow is usually rare, have a higher chance of impactful snow and ice this year. Residents in these regions should be ready for slippery roads and the possibility of school closures. Snowplow operators, city crews, and winter sports fans alike should get ready for a busy and exciting season. Ski resorts are preparing for an influx of visitors eager to hit the fresh powder. With so many regions expecting above-average snowfall, the stage is set for a true winter wonderland, one that promises both challenges and beauty for all who experience it. 
Beyond trends, this winter could bring some headline-making events. The setup is perfect for polar vortex disruptions in the northern plains and Midwest. Expect possible life-threatening cold snaps. The Great Lakes, still warm from summer, could fuel explosive lake-effect snow, dumping feet of snow in places like Buffalo and Erie. The East Coast is primed for major nor'easters, powerful storms that can bring blizzards, coastal flooding, and high winds from D.C. to Boston. These events can shut down cities and disrupt travel, so stay alert. The combination of Arctic air and active storm tracks means high-impact weather is likely. Preparation and awareness will be key to staying safe. Let's look at where these storms will collide. The winter battle zone, where mild western air meets Arctic cold, will stretch from the central plains through the Ohio Valley to the interior mid-Atlantic. Here, storms will bring a messy mixed snow to the north, rain to the south, and a hazardous blend of sleet and freezing rain in between. Freezing rain is especially dangerous, coating roads and power lines with ice and causing outages. Sleet can also make travel treacherous. Forecasting in this zone will be tricky. A small shift in a storm's path can mean snow, ice, or rain. Cities like St. Louis, Indianapolis, Cincinnati, and Pittsburgh should prepare for several icy storms. This region will see some of the season's most complex and disruptive weather. Stay tuned to local forecasts and be ready for anything. What does this forecast mean for your daily life? In the cold snowy east, expect higher heating bills and more travel disruptions. Now's the time to check insulation, service your furnace, and prep your car. In the mild dry west, lower heating costs may be offset by water conservation concerns and, later, wildfire risks. Holiday travel could be tricky nationwide, especially at major airports and on icy roads. Build flexibility into your plans. For winter sports fans, the Midwest, Northeast, and Rockies could see fantastic conditions. And for families, expect more snow days and opportunities for classic winter fun. Embrace the season but be prepared. To sum up, this winter will be a tale of two extremes. The West gets mild and dry. The central and eastern U.S. face a wild, cold, and stormy season thanks to a neutral Enso and a warm North Pacific. The Rockies are the Great Divide, with high-impact events likely. Polar vortex outbreaks, lake-effect snow, nor'easters, and a hazardous battle zone in the middle. Preparation is your best defense. Check heating, winterize your car, and have an emergency kit ready. Stay informed and flexible, this winter will keep us on our toes. But remember, winter also brings beauty and fun from snow-covered mornings to ski adventures. Stay safe, stay prepared, and make the most of the season. And now, here's what's happening in your neck of the woods.